on the constantly rebooting the phones. So again, this is something else where we have the dumb phone right now where people are used to picking it up, I dial something. I mean, I, I'm a fairly technical person, but I have a hard time with my voicemail even, so I don't know how I do with a voice over IP phone. That may be a problem. Any other comments? I mean, to, to implement within your infrastructure, you mentioned how many, how many endpoints? Wow. So I mean, that was, a, that was quite a bit of a, uh, uh, an investment on the organization's part to go for that. Was there a projection on how long that would pay off? Okay. I mean, that would be the other thing. Again, you know, businesses always look at where, how do I make money? How do I save money? How do I increase revenue? How do I take money somewhere else? So investing in this type of infrastructure, obviously will save money if you have huge toll charges, but again, you're still gonna have the infrastructure to build it, maintain it. In what? Okay, right, right. Any other comments? Voice over IP within infrastructure. Go ahead. I think most of the standards that I've listened to or, or read about, they, they want to try to segregate in different VLANs the voice and the data. Obviously, it depends on how much you're pushing out to, you know, I mean, and obviously, if you already got a jack in the back to keep going off, why run a separate wire um, to do those things? And then again, even if you run a separate wire, how do you know that someone's not going to plug their laptop in there and, and mess around on the voice circuit? You, you know, there's. There's no real perfect way to fix all those things. I mean, does that seem to work out well with having, with the setup that you have right now? Yeah, what would worry me is if my phone died, and that means my computer's dead, and that means I basically can go to lunch for a very long time or go home or whatever. Uh, but again, I mean, these, these are the bumps and grinds, as with anything, and in, in, in setting it all up, what is the best architecture and so on. And I mean, the standards for the protocols are even changing, too. So uh, for everything to catch up, and then vendors already put certain things out, standards change, and then to catch up to that, you know, again, is, is, is quite a bit to do. Any other questions, comments? Please. Oh, come on, say something. No? <laughs> You're talking to the guy over there. All right. Well, I thank you all. Oh, there's one in the back. personally don't. Does anyone else have anything like that? I, I, the comment was that uh, organizations are doing something like building their own Skype infrastructure and selling that service. Was that, am I sort of? I guess it would be possible. Again, it just, the, the thing that worries me about putting it on the soft phone thing, and I don't know, I mean, is anyone using soft phones for business within the organization? A couple hands out there, and that, that would be the only thing because now you are truly mixing up the, you know, everything into one, one basket. So if your computer goes down, now you can't use the phone, now you can't use the computer necessarily. So um, whether it's a good thing from sort of a defense in depth and availability kind of aspect or not, but I'm sure you could go sell that, and I don't know what possible legal ramifications, if any, that there would be to doing that kind of thing. Anything else? 
appreciate everyone showing up.